Hello, so we are back Monday and we have a nice toys here. Yeah? Before we start, and this is very important, this is not a paid advertised video, yeah? Don't buy it, okay? If you really, really need it, like me, you'll find a link on the description, yeah? But otherwise, don't buy it, you'll make me no favor, yeah? So I was looking for days online like Amazon, eBay, to find a battery tester. And I couldn't find one. Not even one. Just, you know, just one. Nothing. I, I look on, uh, even uh, go on uh, AliExpress, I think, and, and I couldn't find a battery tester. You know? Why so hard to find something like that? Apart from this, yeah, I found this on Amazon. I was not sure to buy it or not to buy it, but I didn't have too many options because I have a lot of batteries at home and I want to test them. Lithium or uh, uh, normal batteries like AAA, AA, nickel uh, metal hybrid, yeah? And I find this. And look, I will, usually I'll not do a video like this, but I was so happy with this toy. Yeah, let me plug it. I mean, it's it's worth the money, you know. I didn't expect to get so much for the money, and I think I paid on Amazon probably like ninety pound. But keep in mind, this also is working with the uh, with the computer. Let me plug on the computer. You know, it's it, EBL. Never heard about EBL before, but anyway. This tool is fantastic. So you can, you have four slots. You can use any battery, like any, like any battery. It will uh, it will ident identify itself. Actually, you have here on the back a fan. It's a proper nice toy, yeah. Let's go and connect the software. I have the software here. One second. Connect. I can, oh yes, I can. So that's the software. Now let's put some batteries inside, okay? It's with touch screen, by the way. So let's put some batteries inside. We have one here. And you can see straight away, you can see on the slot one on the screen, it's, it's showing the battery. Now let's use the second battery here. Now I, I was so happy when I found this toy. I didn't expect it to be that good. So we have three batteries here on three slots, and you can see them on the screen, okay? And also, I can uh, I can uh, choose what I what do I want. So I plug, uh, I click on the battery one, yeah, and I can choose the car, the charging current. Uh, let's say one amp, yeah. And also, let's say capacity test. You can see here you have the the battery discharge capacity test uh, loop. To bring back to life some batteries uh, let's press capacity test okay capacity test on the next one you know even you can choose the current up to three amps which is fantastic capacity test and the last one one amp capacity test you know that's all and look it has the graphics it's making the graphics on the screen yeah on the screen and I can I can type on any and I can see the graphics of any now the interesting thing is not about testing the batteries actually it is it is it it, it, it is nice it's doing this properly but also is, t is testing the internal resistance and we know the outputting uh, the current output depends on the internal resistance or resistance okay so let me make this window bigger so check here so we have the slot one you can see here uh, i can't make it bigger internal resistance 23 milliohms okay after that, 52 million, 124 million. So the problem is, 
I, I know for now, without testing, which battery is the poorest one or which battery is the weakest one. Yeah. So the battery is from the slot number three because the internal resistance is very high. Okay. So, yeah, you can test them and you can run a full test. It will do probably a like few hours charging and discharging and after that it will display actually a very precise value of the capacity because obviously is uh, how you how, how it's working first it will charge the battery whatever battery you'll plug it will charge when the charging where the charging is finished it will start discharge the battery counting the capacity then when the battery is discharged it will start charging back the battery counting the capacity okay so look like now <clears throat> you have the set current and uh, it will show you how much capacity it actually charged. So from when I start till now, 27 milliamps, 28. Okay. But obviously this uh, this counter will be reset when the discharging process it will start. Okay. It's 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 just you know I was happy because I can I plug it at home on my computer and I can see exactly you know everything like. The capacity on the end, that's what is important, the capacity on the end. I can charge them. Look, look, even the, the next one, the first one, 23 milliohms, the second one, 52. So I know for sure even the second one is not that great, even without testing. It's it make my life so easy. Now, from a different point of view, If you you can see this like a normal battery charger, but what we will do, and we will buy a second one here, I will come with two wires, and you you can find on uh, I think on eBay adapters with needles, yeah, some adapters with needle to put the battery and test any battery. You remember was before a universal uh, battery charger. And that charger has like two needles, and you can uh, put them on the on, on any battery. So something like that. And after that, we can test any phone battery. We can charge, and we can test any phone battery. But if you ask me, the bigger the biggest feature on, on, on this thing is it's it's you can see the internal resistance straight away. And uh, usually, you know, when you see high value on the eternal resistance you know your battery is not that great okay it's just I, I I spent some time and I couldn't find anything and I found this one and I was like I don't know I should buy it or not because it's looking smaller on the picture and then I bought it and uh, I was so happy with this Maybe you need it, who knows? If you don't need it, just, you know, look on the video like uh, you are updating your... Uh, with the new gadgets and technology. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's nice. You can click on any... You cannot set up the discharge current, but you can set up the, the charging current up to 3 amps. And uh, when, you, when you test the battery and it's discharging, the discharge current is, is 500 milliamps, it's a fixed value. But the fan, it will start uh, spinning. It's not that loud, but well, it's okay. Okay, so I'll stop this. It's just a short video. I don't know, maybe I'm, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just old. I'm just not updated, but when I seen this, you know, making these graphics and I have on the computer the link to see them on the computer, it just looks like, you know, like nice. Okay? So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. I'll try to buy that adapter, probably I'll do a second video, and try to check the phone batteries. Just like a, you know, just short test to see 
if uh, internal resistance is uh, stray related with uh, with the capacity, but I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.